Welcome back to Inspiring Builds. I'm Dan, and in this video, I'm going to build and engrave a pallet picture frame. I use one single pallet board from my DIY pallet bar video. If you're unsure of how to dismantle a pallet, I show more details in that video with a reciprocating saw making quick work out of it. Many of you wanted to see more project builds from my last laser engraver video from Algo Laser. What better way to use it than to make custom gifts for real estate like this one? I will show you how to build a template to quickly engrave additional frames, as well as cover how to get your money back quickly on investing in this laser. If you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss any of these tutorials. The cut list is pretty simple with four boards for the outer frame and four boards for the inner frame. Grab your PPE for safety first. Using this simple crosscut sled, cut off the ends of the pallet boards with the nails. If they aren't spaced in your way to rip the boards down, it's your preference to keep them for a rustic look. Raise the blade about an eighth inch above the material. Rip down the boards, removing the rounded edge off of one side. Set the fence to 2 inches to make the rip cuts for the outer frame and 1 and 3 quarter inch to make the rip cuts for the inner frame. You can use several methods to make the cross cuts. If you want to build one of these crosscut sleds for any table saw, I'll make sure to queue up the video at the end of this one. In that video, I show the 5 cut method to dial in your crosscut sled to make perfect cuts every time. Before engraving, I recommend doing a material test. For this engraving test, I set the speed range from 4,000 to 20,000 and the power from 20% to 100% to get a wide range to see what would look best on pallet wood. I was happy with the outcome and decided that 4,000 speed at 100% power in the lower right corner was what I wanted to go with as it had the shade and depth that I thought would look good. With this being a real estate project, I know more will come in the future, so I wanted to build a template to make future orders quick and easy. In Lightburn, I simply set the inner two rectangles the same size as the top and bottom pieces of the outer picture frame and applied crosshairs to opposite corners. I missed engraving a title, so I went back to do that. This is the most powerful 20 watt laser I've tested in its class, and the data does not lie, completing projects much quicker to maximize profits. I'll provide a link to this machine in the description below. Place the top and bottom sections of the outer frame inside the template. Fire the laser and align it to the crosshair marked on the template. Once one is aligned, move the laser to the opposite side and you can pivot the template to align the opposite corner if needed. I hit frame to ensure my template was centered. An awesome feature to save more time is the spring-loaded focus stick. Simply pull down on the lever to lock it and set the focus, and then push the button to release it. After setting the focal point, simply hit the start button to start the job. With running a slower 4000 speed at 100% power, this project took 26 minutes. I've done many engravings at a speed of 20,000 on this machine, and with this project it would only take 7 minutes. While we wait for the engraving to complete, let's do the math on getting your money back for the machine quickly. Instead of paying $35 or much higher for customized frames, we will stick with the low end at $35 to more than cover supply costs such as printing and staining. It would take 23 picture frames for you to complete to cover the cost of the machine, and after that, you're able to provide high quality custom gifts for pennies on the dollar. Before assembling the frame, I do a test fit. The frame on the right is the outer frame, and the frame on the left is the inner frame. Flip over the outer frame and test fit the inner frame, ensuring the space will fit your photo. I was going to make lap joints, but wanted to make this project simple for anyone using glue and clamps.
I use tight bond wood glue to glue up each end of the top and bottom boards and once aligned clamp them into place. I ensured they were nice and square and allowed one hour for cure time. Remove the outer frame from the clamp and we will use wood glue and brad nails to secure both frames together. I used one and a quarter inch brad nails ensuring they weren't too long to protrude through the other side. Glue up all four boards of the inner frame and once aligned secure the frames together with a brad nailer. I will also provide a link to this brad nailer in the description. The wood glue here is what is going to give a really strong long term bond. Sanding is your preference. An orbital sander makes quick work and I used 80 grit since the pallet wood was pretty rough. After sanding, wipe down the frame removing all sawdust. I wanted to keep the lighter look with the darker engraving and used a natural stain. I ran out of foam applicators, but an old sock will do the trick. Maybe you have monsters in your dryer too where you can't find the other sock to make a pair. If so, you have plenty of stain applicators. I really like how the natural stain turned out and applied two coats. I had an old picture frame laying around and disassembled it to use the parts. Insert the glass. Well, I was going to, but this was dirty so I got it nice and clean looking new first. Insert the photo and then the back. These clips aren't my favorite but can do the trick. Remove the clips with needle nose pliers and pallet wood is soft enough the clips can be pushed into applying a good amount of pressure. Another option for free clips with material you probably already have laying around are nails. These are 4D nails that does the trick making everything nice and tight. Before doing the photo shoot, I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, I have other videos queued up for you that you'd probably like as well. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like, comment, share, and hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I release new videos.